Simple Cafe E, illustrated tutorials for your electronics. So one day you're behind your TV, right? Plugging something in and you notice that right next to your HDMI ports, there's one that looks just like HDMI, but it's labeled ARC. What the deuce you ask yourself? Eh, it's not when you needed them, so you just went on about your business. But here we are now and it's time to find out how you can take advantage of ARC. It's been out since 09, but let's start off with what we already know, your regular HDMI connection. You remember before HDMI, when you needed to plug in a white cable for your left audio, red for your right audio, and the yellow one for video? Well, basically, all those are in here now. Plus many more actually, to deliver our sound and vision within a single cable. So yeah, our picture quality is great, but our audio is not, because large speakers will simply not fit. Instead, we're all left to settle with the tiny ones that are crammed inside. That's why if we want to match our great picture with great sound, we gotta bring in some other speakers with a receiver. Or even portable speakers like a soundbar can help. We just gotta send our TV's audio out to our speakers via one of these cables. Which one depends on the connectors your TV and speaker systems have. So as seen here, everything playing on our TV will sound through our speaker system, including the audio of your other devices. Now ARC can help us get rid of extra cables we may no longer need. Trying to keep this as simple as possible, we're going to have a look at the two most probable ways that you'll be using ARC. Just remember that ARC has to be on both your TV and speaker system. The first example is going to be the most basic, because it's really just one more way to connect your TV to your speaker system, on top of the other ways you're probably already familiar with. But I don't know about you, but to me it's looking like lots of TV makers are cutting out all other connection types. That's why it's good to know that so long as you at least have ARC, you'll be set to connect to external speakers. Now if one or the other doesn't have ARC, you can count on a digital to analog converter. Learn about this convenient device in the video up here if you think you may need it. Okay, on to example Sankya 2, which truly cuts down on extra cables if you're using an AV receiver, that is, an audio video receiver. So what's the benefit of these anyway? Well, you're able to plug in several media devices at once, and then quickly select the one that you want to hear through your speakers. And since these are connected via HDMI, the receiver also has your device's video signals, as the name implies. So through a dedicated HDMI out port, we'll forward the selected video to your TV. Oh, and by the way, in this example, we're looking at a home theater setup, but you don't need this many speakers to improve your sound. The point is that now you have your audio going to your speakers, except for the audio that's coming from your TV, right? Like from its apps or the signals that it's catching, the ones that are being cast broadly through the air. Well, now we need to get the sound from here to here if we want to hear our TV through our speaker system, that is. As seen previously, we'll need a separate cable to send the TV's audio to our speaker system. But here's where ARC can finally truly shine. Do you remember that HDMI cable that we had connected from our receiver's HDMI out port? The one that's used to forward the video signals to our TV? Well, if your sound system has an HDMI port, that's labeled ARC, and it's plugged into your TV's ARC port, it will keep forwarding your device's video up to your TV, plus send the audio that's originating from your TV down to your sound system, just as you see here. That's right, through the very same cable. You'll still be connected to your speaker system and can get rid of the extra cables that are no longer needed. By the way, some soundbars have HDMI imports too, so you can do the very same thing. Alright, alright. I know it may not seem like a big deal, but prior to ARC, our cables were able to send signals in only one direction. But ARC is a two-way street. In fact, the R in ARC stands for return. 
audio return channel. Oh, and just so you know, if you're already subscribed to this channel, the next time you're looking for something related to electronic tutorials again, videos from this channel should appear toward the top of your search results. Good luck and see you around.